Hello. It's been a little too long, hasn't it? Anyway, um, I always don't really never know how to respond when it comes to making a video after something serious of a the previous video, honestly. It's a bit weird. I'm not necessarily gonna lie, and I don't necessarily know what to say. The PS5 did come through, and I'm very happy that I got it. And originally, I wanted to do a video where I'm telling you how to get one, which that's still gonna be pertaining in the video, but also I kind of want to talk about things that has happened with, again, the previous video. So, yeah, this is kind of like, I guess, partially for people that want a PS5, but also partially for my channel and for my community as well. It's a horrible mix of a video, but it is what it is. And I really didn't feel like waiting a hundred thousand years to make this video, then edit hours later to make another video and probably the next day. It just something I didn't necessarily want to do. Plus there's other videos about the PS5 that I would like to talk about, especially with the feedback of the different games and the running time and the accessories and things that's within the console itself that you can do, which is really cool. So honestly, I would like to say those for a later video, but for now, at least have this one out. But anyway, when it comes down to things, um, first of all, PS5, let's get this one out the way. How to get one. First of all, let me tell you the story how we are even got our, let me tell you the story how we even got ours. Again, the PS4 update didn't want to let me update to the 10 version, the 10 update version. And I've been stuck with a broken brick of a system ever since for the last 30 days. And when it came down to it, I had to figure out how to get a PS5. We were, we were graciously blessed by the community to get a PS5 with the money being handed over. So that was a wonderful thing. And the biggest problem after that, after getting the money, was trying to find one. Finding one was torture. It's basically hunting for a good chunk of time before you can actually land a console. It's not easy. And definitely it is a lot of waiting involved, but it is possible. What you might need to know is if you're trying to get one yourself is you're gonna have to wait on Wednesdays to Saturdays because that's when they stock up on consoles and that's when you usually find them. Monday through Tuesday and Sunday are the days that you're not gonna necessarily find anything if they already are sold out, which most likely they will be because the console is still hot. You're still not necessarily gonna find it easily, but you'll find it a little bit more easier now because they're starting to have a little bit more in stock with different websites and stores but that's you know that's pretty much the biggest problem the good thing is there's few places that you could check to find one like if you check around the stores near you like walmart or GameStop or target potentially you might find one in store will they sell you in store probably not because they might want you to do a pickup and pay for it online but still, you might have a good chance to find it in a store now. It was like a few months ago or a year ago. Probably get it online. And there's like two sites I would recommend that you would check out and do. There is a third one, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it because it's scalping and it has a bunch of crazy ass prices. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. First site I would recommend that you check out is obviously Sony's website themselves. PlayStation Direct. PlayStation Direct has literally everything PlayStation. And you'll find all that you need, including the PS5s that you've been so been looking after, which is also where I got my PS5 and it's at retail price. So thankfully, you don't have to worry about saving $700 to $800 to buy your console. You can buy one within that $500 range, damn near to $600, but it's still within a good price range because it's literally the retail price. I got the one without the bundle. Thankfully, everything came through. Nothing was damaged or anything like that. I got my console. It feels kind of surreal to say I do have one because, you know, I'm still thinking I have a PS4. This is not a PS4. This is the upgrade. The other place I would say to check is Ant Online because it's pricey. It is more than retail, but yeah, I think you'll still get it because it also is a legitimate site as well. And when it comes down to things, I think for the last couple of times I checked, their prices on the PS5 was like $6.19. So that's like, uh, uh, this is a bit more expensive, but you know, it's still getting you the console what you want to get. So that's like a good thing though, but definitely it is a lot more, it's a lot more expensive because I think the end price will probably be like $700 at the end of it. Not too much higher than 700, but 
just maybe just like a little bit higher depending on where you live and how sales tax works if it's in different areas but still nonetheless yeah you, you're gonna find one there they do sold out they do sell out fast there too like they sell out hella fast there so you might still have trouble trying to get one but still nonetheless that's like another site you can check ants online which is like another site the last site i would highly recommend you probably use as your last resort in case you can't find one is StockX, which is like a site that is like a bidding site or you can just like sell things on there basically like ebay but a little bit more reliable because they have to authenticate and verify that your product is real especially when you send it out to somebody so that's like a good thing and when it comes down to date you will get a ps5 there but again them prices and them scalpers that will be trying to get on your ass so you know it is a bit of a pain but you still can get your ps5 through there if you use that website just again you're gonna pay for a higher price uh the console than you probably want to but those are the three sites i would recommend that you probably check out and have a better chance of getting your console for again highly recommend that you go over playstation direct and get it from sony directly but you know if you can't and if you don't want to wait you know you got other options but that's pretty much your best chance of getting into ps5 and again socks do be coming in like wednesday to saturday and that's your best chance of shooting for it let's talk about the last video i made so the last video i made obviously was about my mom figuring out about these videos and everything else when they came down to it so you know that that's a bit of a hassle honestly but i literally when i made that video i literally didn't know what to do and i was definitely in a weirder place honestly and i didn't know if i could make content really without everything kind of going awry honestly but then literally i think like the second night of that being like done to me she came in she talked about this whole thing and then she kind of realized that i'm an adult i make content it is what it is and essentially she's willing to not look at the channel ever so much you know like she was probably originally planning to she might check in every blue moon but it's not necessarily as bad as it would be which is good for us and that's one thing i was praying about too i was just like hopefully she don't check out the channel like all the dang time because there's no reason for that because obviously we have things we have to do again you can't play the game of youtube cleanly you have to be somewhat dirty in a way unfortunately but still nonetheless she was understanding about it i feel like we'll be fine uh or while this place i feel like still feels a bit shot i still feel like that we still have a decent place for where we are honestly does that change anything about what i said about possibly making more safer work content i'm probably gonna make more safer work content honestly but the original stuff that we uh talk about on this channel probably is not gonna go anywhere it, it most likely won't and you know it, it just it's just again something i have to kind of think about honestly and then i would make this video a little bit more earlier but my head wanted to start hurting so that was like also another thing i didn't want to necessarily deal with and push onto you and then you know try to do things with because the headache has been horrible ultimately when it comes down to things the channel is fine we're we ain't going nowhere and you know it's not going to be hopefully as violated as it once was in a way but definitely when it comes down to things i'm looking forward to making more content and i have some ideas and stuff already on the way just need to go ahead and just put them into place but yeah that's pretty much the entirety of this video and what i wanted to talk about got the ps5 still feels 100 surreal and i'm 100 i am grateful to every last one of you who has helped to and be in support of this you know purchase and definitely be in support of everything when it came down to it because now i was originally trying to wait to get this like next year in the summer but now i don't have to wait anymore we have it now i could just wait on games like final fantasy rebirth or kingdom hearts 4 or whatever other game that's gonna come out in the future sonic frontier is gonna definitely get that so you know I'm, I'm really happy that we got this early and i'm really looking forward to spending a lot of time with it because there is a lot of things i have to talk about especially fighting game wise but there's a lot of things i have to talk about but yeah again everything is fine i'm feeling much better now and uh outside this headache i'm feeling pretty good so they, that's pretty much what i wanted to say for this one so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like share subscribe hit the bell notification on the way out also i'm on twitter and if you'd like to donate to the channel patreon is available as well and so this is boy j signing off
have a blessed day.